really means a lot to me. So day number 23, um, what does this day look like to me? Um, I think I'm gonna go pretty simple, keep it again expressionistic and just the feeling of landscape. That's what I'm running with right now. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Bye. Today I decided I was gonna go pretty, pretty simple, expressionistic and possibly, I'm envisioning a scene of like in an English countryside. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I have not been there. So um, if, it, if you have, I'm jealous. I wish I could say I have, but I haven't. So that's what I'm doing. And right now all I'm doing is laying down my big blocks of color. And um, for those of you who've been watching my videos, you kind of understand what I mean by that. So what I do is I kind of lay in some blocks of color so that I have a better feeling for the um, direction and it causes me so that I don't have a muddy palette and that's that was my concern last time as I started getting a muddy palette um, not the last time but a few videos quite a few videos back I learned right away not to lay down all my colors at once so I'm grabbing another brush and the only reason why I'm grabbing another brush is because with this I'm doing uh, wet on wet and so my brush i don't have time to clean it and get another brush and, or you know remix it and all that because of time so i'm just grabbing another brush this is my angle brush and i just like my angle brush and um i so that's why i have no reason why i'm using it. i just i'm using it so um, i'm laying in some purple here and um i just love the contrast of the purple against the yellow and i like merging the yellow with it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some of that in here too and again I'm working with different planes meaning different directional planes um, uh, land planes and the reason is I want it to have that feeling of going back further and again I don't even have a real idea of, as to what I'm representing here I'm just doing it so um, again I'm going by intuition laying down a mood that's what I was trying to say. So again, it's not that I'm necessarily ever been here. I don't even know where this is, but my new term is Nicolesque. It's a Nicolesque landscape because again, I um, I don't know what it is, but I like it. Okay, so again, I'm laying in some light areas just to draw the eye back and kind of meandering through this area. Um, giving your a resting point here and uh, putting in some lights back in here. I felt like I needed that. Not sure why, um, but I did. And so back in, in here, I want to pull some of that dark gray um, blue from the back um, and it would look kind of smart next to this. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm not sure, I think I'll go ahead and scrub it in. It's a little bit more green blue and I wanna go a little more gray blue. So I'll go ahead and just lay in some black just to balance out that blue green color. And the reason why I picked black is I have a really limited paint palette right now to work with. So the only colors I have are the ones I, that I started out with in this challenge. So, um, so I'm working with what I have. And if you wanted to warm it up, then you just want to add some red back into it. Um, that's a nice way to go. So, okay, so this is really fun. It's simple. It, it um, illustrates what I want. Um, and now at this point, I will come in and start to play with a few more clouds in here. And the white, I didn't want it to be contaminated or cross-colored with this, so I went ahead and got another brush. And I just want to lay in a few a few clouds in here, and um, I'll uh, merge this with the rest. And again, I want to get some of that since this is already on my brush, the blue. I like that, and I want to just tuck in a cap of it over in this area. So again, it's one of those things where I really truly um, have learned this just from uh, doing it so many times myself. And you, in time, if you are a beginning um, artist, you'll just learn that. But um, but it is all by by just trial and error and just practice, practice, practice. And 
and uh, that's what that's where you're gonna learn is just doing learn by doing okay um, yeah this feels good okay so um, I love doing my scratching in and all that I feel like I need some darker values in here and I, I do have an area already in this area that I could use but I, I do like how that looks so I don't really want to I don't want to change this shape is so beautiful I don't want to change that so I think I'm gonna go more into a dark green and um, add just a little bit of red so it has a khaki color so it will, it'll merge with what's already on here but I'm gonna add more just to kind of create another layer in front of that so again it gives you one more layer that's why I'm doing that okay um, and then I'm just now checking to see, you know, what can I do different? What can I add? And really, really, that's that's the main, that is my main um, picture. That's what I want and that's what I like. And so I'll come in and, um, again, I have a fresh brush just because I want to go ahead and lighten up this one area back in here. And... Uh, Pull that down and then over again and why I'm doing this is I just felt like I wanted this to have a further directional a further a layer back and so by lightening it that's how that's gonna happen um, and then as far as the sky I'm afraid to do much more because I love these weird you probably can't see it on camera that's why I like being up closer but there's these weird little fringy things that happen when my brush went ragged on it um, where I was scrubbing it and I like that I don't know why but I do so I might leave some of that I'm just going to tuck a little lightness though back in here just a little bit to kind of create that feeling maybe a hill or something um, but not a lot I don't want to overdo it so there we go Okay, and then other than that, I'm like I said, I'm pretty happy with the results here. So um, I know these are really quick study paintings, and um, I don't even know if I would say studies because they're just kind of fun. I mean, I would, I would, I would hang this in my house, and those are the things that we talked about before. You know, what is it that causes me to know when to stop? And you know, if it's something that I enjoy and I like, then I'll stop because I'm painting this for me. And if someone else finds it beautiful then we have a kinship, then we have something, you know, that um, feels special to me and I appreciate my my buyers and my collectors and it's it's just part of the whole process and, and it's, it is, it's fun when that happens. When you have someone that loves your work, it's really a special moment. So, okay, so I am seriously like kind of wrapping this up. So um, again, I can't, so thank you enough and for all my cute little cheerleaders out there I appreciate you and glad that you're uh, speaking out because now I know who's who's checking my things out and I really think that's pretty cool that you're here for me and um, other than this, this is it so you might see a little changes here and there but not too much and um, I'm gonna have it on my blog and on my website and if you're interested, these will be up for sale also, and then I will do some takeaways here in a minute. Okay, take care. Bye. Okay, so I just finished my 23rd painting. I cannot believe this. So I'm excited, and as you saw in the video, it's it, my takeaway is that truly just give be patient with yourself and give yourself time. If you are a new artist, um, give yourself that 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 leeway or that that okay that it, it can take a while to learn to paint and to get fast at doing it. Um, I've said this before, I've painted for 28 years and so as I paint it's quicker for me and it just takes time and so just be gentle with yourself, that's one takeaway. The other one is, um, so you notice I've gotten faster as this whole um, process has gone. So each painting, it seems like they're getting faster and faster. And the last two, I, I call them my record breakers because they are so quick. But it doesn't mean they're uh, less quality. And that's what I was saying in my last video is that sometimes, you know, with experience, you just get better and faster. So like I said, just give yourself time in this video and this whole challenge is a perfect example. So as I've gone through this challenge, I've gotten faster 
and just more um, confident with my choices. So anyhow, um, I hope that this helps. Um, takeaways besides those would be just, again, go with your heart. Always, always just set forth, you know, whatever it is that you want to do and just don't listen to those sounds behind your head or those voices. Just listen to your heart. Those are the right ones to listen to. All right, have a good one and a blessed day and I'll see you soon. Bye.